Oh, geez, there's fans up there. Just kidding, guys. Pretty realistic, right? That's the mural we have here at Pro Swing of Portchester in Westchester, New York. All right, we're gonna talk about hitting, the anatomy of a swing. We're gonna break it down into seven steps. Some coaches may have more steps or less steps. They may use a different vocabulary. We're not saying anything's wrong or right. We're just gonna teach you the pro swing way. Let me say the seven steps, we'll explain them in detail, and then we'll recap at the end. Here we go, seven steps. Step one, loading your hands. Step two, striding. Step three, back hip explosion. Step four, throwing your hands at the ball. Step five, contact. Step six, extension. And step seven, follow through. Let's go into this in a little more detail. Here it is, you're looking at the anatomy of a swing and our checklist. Let's go through it. All right, gone through my hitter's checklist, I'm ready to swing now. Now steps one and two happen almost simultaneously. My hands go back and I stride with my front foot. These are steps one and two. Hands back, ready to swing, and foot strides forward, okay? Now, step three is exploding this back hip towards the ball. Now when you explode that hip, your hands should follow, like so. The power I generate from exploding that back hip brings my hands forward and sets me up for step four, which is throwing your hands towards the ball. Knob to ball. That is step four. Now I'm seeing the ball at contact. Step five. Notice my arms aren't locked out right now. There's still some give in them because that sets us up for step six, which is extension through the ball. That's how you get that good lift behind the ball and a little bit of power. Step seven is follow through. Those are the seven steps. Let's do it one more time, a little faster now. Hands back stride, back hip explosion, knob towards the ball, contact, extension, follow through. Now let's do an actual swing. We bring back the checklist, let's see if I hit every step. All right, once again, I managed to sweat every time I do these drills, but let me tell you, we did the anatomy of a swing, we broke it down into seven steps, okay? Now, when should you do this drill? You might be asking that question. Do it before game, do it before practice, do it before you take your first swing of the day off the tee. It is a great drill that will create the correct muscle memory. Just make sure you focus each step, know where your hands are going, feel the right way, because when you do it the right way in practice, you'll do it the right way in a game. Thanks a lot for watching this Pro Swing Tip of the Week. I guarantee next week's gonna be a great tip that is gonna make you a better baseball player. Time to go back to the bleachers. What up, guys? Woo!